Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna make you a super crazy, super fast, super cool security camera. So uh, the packages needed for this is OpenCV Python. So that's all we need. So now we are in the PyCharm program. So the first step is we have to download the OpenCV package. So let's go to the files settings and if it shows that when you go to the uh, uh, interpreter shows nothing to show don't press ok just press cancel and go again until you find the perfect thing which should say loading and it should come these two three packages it should be two or three so let's press this plus icon and let's type open cv or double v python so this is the thing we wanted so now let's download so anyway what are we what should does the open cv do so the open cv it's a package that gives access to the camera without the open cv you can't have any access with the camera it can also detect movements from the camera like you suddenly get up from the chair then you can from the open cv you can detect that so that's one option from the open cv and while then let's discuss the three main functions of the camera which is should be the security camera so there are three functions in the security camera one it should on the camera without turning the camera you can't do anything and the second step is you have to detect the movement without detecting the movement it can't do anything like the security camera it's just normal camera so the third thing is giving alarm it should give a big alarm so you want to make the whole thing watch all three videos and you will get a super fast super cool super crazy security camera so now the package OpenCV Python installed successfully. You can see here. So now let's press this cross button and you can see the OpenCV Python is right here. So we press OK. Now we are going to press Central A which may copy everything we just highlighted. We are going to press backspace. Everything got completely clear. So now we download the package. So even if you download any kind of package, any kind, you have to import it. So the thing we should do is, we are going to press import CV2, which normally everyone is known like that. So this next step is, we are going to make a variable called cam. So with the cam variable, the thing is you can, with the cam variable, you can open the cam. So for now, we have set the cam, A, hey, cam, the CV2 is here, you can use your camera so to use also we need a simple code which is video capture so with the video capture code now the cv2 is there so the cam knows that the cv2 is there and it will capture the video but it should know how many cameras you got if you have more than one it could be two three four up to million if you have more than one, you should put one inside the brackets. You should put one if you have more than one camera. If you have only one, only one single camera, just put press zero. Just like that. So then we are going to go to the next option. We are going to type while, which will make a small process and put the cam variable and we are going to say a hey, camera is open so with the camera is open everyone knows that the camera is open now so here it is everything we are going to put 
this kind of code so it says while the camera is open do this so what this do this that's what we are going to we are going to put a new variable called red frame so this is the new variable so from the red frame you are going to say the red frame hey red frame read the cam so now the red frame will read the cam so you just need to put cam dot read so we are going to put the two brackets here and for now it's done so now we are going to type cv2 dot m show and you might be guessing or you might be thinking what is cv2 m show so when you on the camera you should see a little box coming a screen coming a window coming in front of you so the camera has activated and the security camera is on so that's the im show and you have to put a name for it. it's actually the frame that comes so we are we could type any kind of a security camera pop up security camera pop up i'm gonna put pop up camera so this is what's here now we are going to put a small comma here and type frame and now we are going to go here and now the camera should be go just or every day every single night every minute it has a stop point so for that we are going to type if cv2 dot wait key and then we are going to put this so what does this what did we type here so now this is cv2 the camera wait key when you press the wait key you should stop that's what here but in this brackets we are not going to put the wait key for so here we are going to type how much more many seconds it should wait when we type the key so i'm going to type 10 milliseconds so now we are going to type the equal mark here which is two equal marks and we are going to type odd so what does this odd do odd gives us a key odd gives us the button when we should press so we are going to type the button now so we are i'm going to w, press w so now what exactly happened when you press this when you press w the everything will stop everything will stop right there it will break down but we just said wait there after 10 milliseconds when press w what when press w what so now we are going to type break now if we type if we type the w key it will break so now it is not completely done now we go to this red frame variable on top of it and we are going to type central d and now it's completely copied central d does it, it copies the same thing goes to the next line and paste it so now we are going to do a just a simple ordinary easy thing we are going to type here frame one just need to add the one and here we are going to put frame two just need to add the two so now so now we are going to make a new variable called diff so we are going to type cv2 dot div cv2 dot okay not comma absolute difference so we are going to type abs diff so what does this do it completely what it does is it finds the difference of something two things so but there's one problem the cv2 comes hey diff uh, you are going to give me the absolute difference what is from what to compare and the diff says i don't know so the diff can't say i don't know so 
it had to know what it should compare so we are going to put the brackets and type frame one and a comma and a space and we're going to type frame two so now frame two and frame one are in one this one variable so we are going to put that variable here instead of frame we are going to put diff so now the whole part one is done with nine codes line nine lines of coding so let's resume it and check how good it works so now it's giving it a load and checking is even one small program not working so you can see me here you will see me just a few seconds after I resume it now because it's the first time it suddenly came so it takes a minute so here I am right here in front of you you can see myself here so I'll make it you for you easiest here I am. easy like that so this is the thing it uh, takes frame 1 takes pictures and frame 2 takes another picture and it finds the difference and it colors the part that have difference so frame 1 is here and suddenly I move then frame 2 takes a picture and it finds the differences I have so and the difference will go so fast it will suddenly show when we are it's as if it actually finds it it's it's actually like that it has its own mind that it can find easily at the same time that this is moving it's so fast so for example if I stop moving you can see my eyes aren't moving and most of my face but my mouth I am talking so it moves like that if we stop moving you can't see at all but if you just start talking 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 and jumping 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 you will see me so now the odd when we type the when we press or type anything we when we press the w it goes off so here it is it's off it breaks the whole program so now that's the part one if you want to make the whole complete program go to part two and three and then you will be a pie charm maker and you will know how to make a super easy super crazy super cool and super security camera so meet you at the second video goodbye